and now I just need to keep it in action. Okay, so I'll just go back in there and we'll uh, need to point that action to the target. So I want to go to video one. Alright, now we go to video two, edit it again, uh, create an action for it, and then push and get it to go to video two. Alright, um, just for sake of completeness, Top, this will be replaced, and we'll just drag these up in there. Just about the same. Okay. Now um, we need to go back and actually add in our movie player object. So we'll go in, scroll down. Don't have the icon for it yet. That's all good. There we go. Voila. And we'll just, we'll just pull it out. Just turn that there. It's fine. We'll go in and we'll just add some content. So let's just say we're going to play the duck trailer. Cool. Um, I do recommend embedded control style. Otherwise, it can cause problems. And yeah, that's it. So we go back. There's our movie. So as you can see, we can move it around, play around with it. Okay. And of course, you saw we can change a bunch of copies back in the other window. Um, now we want to go to video two. Let's add a new uh, movie player object. So I'll just go down, grab that there. Way. And then we can add some content for that as well. So we've got guidelines created. Alright, cool. We've got two movies. Okay. Now we're good to go. So we'll go to project options and we'll do cinematic into code. And it's done. Okay, so we can close that. And we'll just open up um, the Xcode project. So this is a project that all I've done is I've deleted um, I think it was three or four files. Um, there is actually a tutorial on that on that page as well. It's the Hello World uh, in Xcode 4 tutorial. So I've got a blank project here. Um, these are the files that Indap exported for us. So we just drag, drop them in. Okay, we want to copy them over, yes. Um, just go in here. You'll see that being that these are movie files, we can't add them into the exported code that DAP creates because uh, the code is sent off to email and videos are generally <laughs> quite large. So what we have to do is we just need to um, move in the movies into our code. So we'll see here that um, our movie player wants DAP trailer uh, movie files. So we'll go into our movie files here and we'll just grab that, drag it over. Yes, we need to copy it. And now we go to our other one, and we'll see that we need the guidelines preview movie as well. And there it is. We'll just drop that into our project as well. Okay, and there we have it. We'll run that. Here's our brand new app. Video one, playing, awesome. Video two, playing, awesome. All right, that's it, guys.